Hi everybody, welcome. This is Allison with Safety Education Specialists. So, a new thing just popped across. If you're hearing that noise, that is my dogs. They are doing whatever dogs do. Having fun, barking, telling the world that they're there. One day I'll bring them on the channel and get a chance to meet the little darlings, but for right now, we're just going to go with this. So, the news that came out that comes into American Heart Association instructors and in it there was some new information. There was a thing about uh CPR for women. Now, those of you who have had my class in the past, I may or may not have talked about this. It just depends on how females are much less likely than males to receive bystander CPR. And there are various reasons for that. Um, the feedback that I've received from students has been that it's really um, because men don't want to risk being sued because they touched a woman in the chest. So here we see a couple of statistics they have on their website at CPR.org, uh, Community Program CPR for Women. So less likely to receive bystander CPR. Their stat, only 39% of women receive CPR from bystanders in public compared to 45% of men. That's really significant. Uh, men's odds of surviving were 23% higher than women's. Again, why? Because bystanders are doing something instead of just standing there being bystanders. Um, and they do address a couple other things. You know, women are less likely to have heart problems. They're actually not. Heart disease is still the number one killer of women, and that is all other diseases. So all other things, it's heart disease that gets us. Um, and they may say that we over-dramatize. Uh, you may have heard anecdotes of a woman going to the emergency room and being told it's anxiety or take a Xanax and just relax. It does happen, okay? But I do like that they do say this in here. Here's this really important sentence. And I'm reading this for the first time with you guys here. I haven't looked at this at all. Lead the change for all women in your life, starting with learning hands-only CPR. We're coming to a class and learning the real thing, but this is fine in the meantime. And let go of the uncomfortable stigma of performing hands-only CPR on a woman because of her breasts. Thank you. I am so glad, Heart Association, that we are saying the B word. The B word. Breasts. Thank you very much. Now, let me move myself kind of out of the way here because I want us to watch this video. So they say they've released a new video. In the past, they've had hands-only CPR videos, but they have been a female or male performing hands-only CPR on a male victim. They've always shown the victim topless. So let's see if we get a topless female and let's see if we get nipple. Because those are two things that have been in the past very difficult to do because nobody wants to say, oh my gosh, I saw a nipple in a CPR class. Oh my gosh, I saw a thing. It's happened. And quite frankly, uh, in my classes in the past where I've uh, trained people, I have received comments from folks. Um, and this is very rare, exceptionally rare, but I have received comments and feedback saying, well, I like what you did, dear, but I really wish you wouldn't say the word nipple. And I really wish you wouldn't say breast. I'm like, um, that's anatomy. We have it. Men and women have those things. Um, just some of them are different, but we have them. So it's a thing. And maybe we should get over that. So I think this is so far looking like a good positive step. We'll see. So let's watch the video. Let's see what happens. Okay, stopping right there. Here's the thing with that. You're ready to continue. Hands-only CPR. Okay, again, I understand completely that you're just doing this because you want the public just to do a darn thing, but oh my goodness, can we please start breathing for people? Can we stop with this? AEDs, by law, have to have a CPR mask with them. First aid kits, by law, have to have a CPR barrier device with them. So it's not like CPR barrier devices are some mystical, magical unicorn that you never freaking see. Okay, they're there. And by the way, when defibrillators tell you to do CPR, guess what? They tell you to give breath. So can we just tell the public about this? Can we stop with the, but fine, whatever. Okay. The other beef I have. All right, fine. We have a female on female. Very good. Fine. Whatever. How about if we show a dude doing this and she's still completely buttoned up? Can we at least get down to a bra? Can we at least do that? Okay, just so you know where your hands go. 
Can we do that? No, we're not there yet. Fine. Let's continue and see what else happens. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so number one, we have a sports bra. Thank you very much for showing your cut in the sports bra. If you are a woman and you are familiar with sports bras, you know that sports bras can be very expensive. So thank you for showing that you just snippity, snippity, snippity and got rid of it. But oh my goodness, did you say that there was no nipple? It was completely just meow. It was just, it. Can we stop, please? Can we stop? making it so that women's bodies are dirty and nasty and need to be hidden and covered? Can we stop? Can we just stop? Can we accept that we're human freaking beings and we have nipples, we have breast tissues, we have things. Can we please just do it? You're not doing this for, for jollies, okay? You're doing this to save a life. So how about if we stop with the stigma and stop with all of this BS and just go, hi, there is a lady, there's nipples. Put your hands there and push. Fine. All right, we'll keep going. Okay. Thoughts. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. Okay. Here we go. First thing, thank you very much for finally acknowledging that women exist. Good. Thank you. Second thing, thank you for acknowledging that women have breast-like tissue. I won't say breasts because you didn't put nipples on there. Now, I do realize that there are some women who, for whatever reason, do no, no longer have nipples. I get it. Okay. That's fine. But if you're going to show that, show me some mastectomy scars. Okay, can we do that? Also, how is this video going to address men being uncomfortable touching women's breasts to save their life by showing a female on female? How is that going to work? Show me a dude doing it. Put a dude in there. Okay, you've, you've addressed the problem. Good. Good first step, American Heart Association. Very good. So how about if we keep going with this? Let's continue this. Let's update the videos that instructors have because they're streaming now. So it's pretty easy to do an update. So let's update that. And let's, instead of showing, doing CPR to a woman with her shirt on and no AED use on women, how about if we put that in there? I would even compromise and say, you don't have to put nipples in if all you do is show that. But oh, by the way, I do believe that the videos do show men with nipples. I may be wrong. Let me check this right the heck now i'm gonna pull up my video and i'm gonna look and i do realize that i'm completely boomering this right now because i'm not showing you everything let's see here Doo -doo 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 -doo. i'm logging into my other one and we're gonna go into the heart saver video the heart saver video this is the video that we show to the public this is the video we show to the public so now i'm gonna see i'm gonna share this tab Haha, ha, I think I did it. Okay, so let's go into, um, there is, boop, 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 boop. 
I don't want to do Kurt's story. He's a barista who saves somebody. Good job, Kurt. Keep doing your thing. Um, let's see what this looks like here. Putting it all together, adult. Let's play this and let's see if we see dude nipple. Yes, 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 I know. I see you. Yep, okay. Hi, dude nipple. There's dude nipple. There's dude nipple. I'm I'm sorry. Should I as a female not be offended by seeing male nipple? Does that not offend my sensibilities? Does it only offend male sensibilities to see female nipple? Or are we making it so that a female's body is intentionally sexualized just because she happens to be a woman is that the issue that we're going into right now i am sorry this is the biggest thing that bothers me and it has bothered me for decades so heart association in summary your new cpr for women video good i'm glad you've done something thank you thank you thank you thank you let's do some more of this and let's work even harder to get rid of the stigma because i assure you that Showing a demonstration like this is only going maybe 50%, and that's if I'm being generous. If you want to take it across the finish line, you show a guy doing hands-only CPR to a female, okay, and you show her having nipples. I'm not saying you have to get some kind of, you know, gamer physics or whatever. You know, you don't have to do that, okay? That's not the point. But the point is, you're willing to show male nipples. You're not willing to show female nipples. What is so bad about the female anatomy that we, as people who are professionals and people who are trying to teach people how to save lives, what is so horrible about women's bodies that you feel the need to hide it? Explain that to me, please. And don't use the words decency or anything else because I'm saving a life right now. I'm not ogling. Nobody is, you know, getting their jollies off doing CPR to somebody. That's not fun. That's not cute. That's not romantic. That's not sexy. That's none of those things. So if we're going to take that stigma away, if we're going to make our male counterparts comfortable touching a woman's breast to perform CPR, then guess what? We need to make it so that they see a guy doing CPR to a girl and seeing nipple. Otherwise, it's just cartoons.